resident Stephen Watson was on campus from September 14th to the 19th, working on a series of installation pieces using spices. This is what Watson says about his art. Really starting to think about why I make my art and not just making it because I'm, I, I can do it, but to do it because it would be meaningful and, and conceptually significant. It's important that it engages all the senses and that it not just be um, some intellectual recognition of God, let's say, but to try to engage God um, through sight and through touch and through um, smells in the case of my spice work. People ask me all the time, why do you do that? And also, how does it feel when it gets destroyed? And to me, I always respond um, that it feels true. It just feels close to life, that things come and things go, that um, you know, I, I try to share things that I consider sweet and beautiful, um, but I don't try to stop people from stepping on those things. So for me, it's just sort of an acknowledgement of, of the impermanence of life and the kind of fleeting beauty of things. As much as art sometimes is about trying to show other people something, it has a whole lot to do with trying to teach myself something. These are centenary students and faculty's thoughts about Watson's work. I've never seen artwork be done with spices. So that's probably something that actually caught my attention. The smell of it in here is just amazing and it instantly relaxes me before I have to go to class or something. It's very striking, the colors, the very bright colors. And so I looked at it, they're sort of shiny, which is what made me want to walk on them. Well, I wouldn't, of course, because it's art. I would say that the first thing I noticed was the attention to detail. Um, it's very intricate and very elaborate. I love the, uh, obviously, the smell of it. I love the design and everything was was really great. His choice of colors, it's just fascinating to me. Makes me, personally, feel like um, more creative. and makes me want to go out and doodle and find out what I can create. And it's just kind of fun to see art everywhere. And, you know, I'm a big cook, and so it's interesting to see something that I use every day, salt and pepper, but repurposed as art. So it's pretty interesting. I really like this art in particular because it reminds me of the sun. It's almost like you can feel the warmth from it. I have been treating it exceptionally well. And it's such a small, wonderful little place. It's like, it's like I know everybody now. Even people totally not involved in the project whatsoever. I know them by name, and I see them five times a day. And uh, it's been, gosh, it's a, it's a sweet little place. It's really nice. Um, it's, been, it's been friendly. It's been supportive. You guys have been flexible. You guys have stayed interested. Um, you, you guys have the gift of hospitality. It's been very, very nice. Watson's exhibit, Salty and Bright, open on the second floor of the Meadows Museum on the 19th. You can also admire Watson's work all around campus. His art pieces will be on display until October the 14th. This was Sabrina Handoff for the Centenary Conglomerate.